Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another thrift haul for you guys. So for half of these items, my husband and I found them in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. We went to a few thrift stores while we were there this past weekend. But then the other half of these items are just from my local thrift store where I live. And so I thought I would show you guys the collection that I came home with. We found some really fun stuff, so I'm excited to show you guys and let's just hop into it. So this first item I'm pretty bummed about because I thought it would have looked so cute um, for like a basket wall, like something like this. And I mean, we still can do this, but it's completely broken. Like, it's not even attached. It's broken, it's flimsy, but it was only 50 cents. So I got a few baskets and the thrift store we were at in Sheboygan, they had half off of their craft room, which is where I found all of these baskets. So this was only 50 cents. I'm still gonna use it. It's just not very functional as an actual basket. Then I found this basket, which I thought was just really cute and simple. Um, I don't know if you can totally see, but there's different colors within the weaving. And I just thought that was really pretty. This was also a dollar originally, so we got it for 50 cents. Let me know if you guys would be interested in buying some of the stuff that I find at the thrift store, because I do not need this many baskets, but my eyes are just drawn toward them. So if you guys would benefit from any of these baskets, let me know and I can maybe post something on my Instagram um, or something like that. Figure something out to get connected with you guys so you guys can benefit from the finds that I get from the thrift store. And I got this basket. It looks like a football. <laughs> but I thought just with our decor in this living room, it would look really cool pinned up on the wall with a few other baskets, you know, thrown about to make a little basket wall. I'm not sure if those are actually in anymore, but I still like them and I haven't had one yet, so I might make a wall out of this, but I thought this was really cool and then saw this one and really liked it, so we got it. Then I got this basket, which I think is like my favorite one that I found. This was $2, so we got it for a dollar, but it has little wooden handles. Currently, I'm using it as like our fruit and vegetable baskets. It's not the most sturdy, but if we're just setting it on the counter to hold stuff, I think it's okay. But I really just like the detail of the weaving. I just think it's intricate and really cool. So that was that basket. I have one more basket to show you guys. And this is more of a trash can. I've been looking for a trash can like this for a while. And we found this one for half off. I was also looking for this type of shape because where I'm putting this trash can is behind our door. And we don't want something too wide to jut out. But here's what it looks like. It has some cool texture here and all throughout. What Ben and I really like about this though is it has handles. Got that, that was originally $4, so we got this for $2. All right, then at that same thrift store in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, we ventured into the kitchen area and found some really cool stuff. So we got two things from that section. This first thing from the kitchen area is this napkin holder. And we don't have a napkin holder, we usually just use paper towels, but it's kind of more practical to just have napkins when guests are over. Um, so we really liked the wash of this wood. I don't really know what type of wood this is, but the shape is really streamlined, really nice and sturdy, and this was only two dollars. So really like the look of that, so we can take that on and off of our kitchen table. And then this last piece from that thrift store is like my favorite thing that I found in a while. Now, I was not looking for this by any means, but I just came across it and I could not like let someone else get it. <laughs> I think Ben actually walked past this and didn't know what it was, but I saw this and I knew right away that's a garlic clove. So this is a garlic holder and it's terracotta and it's everything to me. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was so cool. It came as a set, so top came with the bottom. And this was $4. Usually I would feel like that's a little too much, but I, it was something I couldn't pass up. It's so cool. I know we will get used out of this because we love our garlic. <laughs> All right, so those are the things that I found at the Sheboygan thrift stores. And now I'll move into the few finds that I found at my local ones. I have two things to show you guys. So this first item is a candle, and it kind of looks like that garlic thing, but this was $3.99. I, th I thought that was kind of 
much for a used candle at the thrift store but i was looking into it and i was just looking up the brand that i saw in here dpm fragrance and i found out that that is the company that makes blue capri i think um which is like a 40 30 dollar candle and so i looked it up and sure enough this was 30 dollars originally so i thought four was totally fine it smells pretty good ben's not a total fan of it but even if i don't burn it that much i think it's still super cute and a nice color um, for our decor all right this last thing i'm gonna have to move the camera because you won't be able to totally see it but i found a king comforter at the thrift store yesterday and i love it so let me show you all right so we're on the floor now i have all my thrifted stuff behind me but i'm going to show you this the comforter so this was marked as $17.99 but i had an exchange to make and i also went on a discounted day so i got this for 13 dollars and at first I was like, that's kind of a lot just for a thrifted comforter. But then I saw the brand and that changed. So this is the brand Casa Luna. And they sell this at Target. And I looked up how much a king comforter from Target would be from this brand. It was like $139. Granted, it came with, you know, like the two shams for the pillowcases. But you, you can't really beat... $13 for a king comforter that's linen and just beautiful. Here's the texture. And then the opposite side is this quilted, very soft material. So I'm filming this right now so I can go pop this in the wash and put this on our bed. So I'll just need to make sure to follow these directions so I don't mess this up. Anyway, we are so excited over all of the finds we found in Sheboygan and what we found here. Let me know if you guys would buy any of the things that I find at the thrift store. I love the search, I love the challenge, but it's not practical for me to buy if I can't actually use it, um, even if I love what it looks like and all of that. So if you guys would like to buy some of the things that I find, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to maybe set something up for you guys. Thank you for watching this video and as always please comment down below any requests that you have, like this video, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video from me. Thanks for watching. Bye!